Take one look at Troy Smith's office and you can tell he's serious about Bob White's and quail hunting. Smith, who manages the 4,600-acre Byron Walker Wildlife Area for Kansas Wildlife and Parks, is enthusiastic about providing good hunting for all species on this public area. But if his management practices happen to particularly benefit Bob White's, that's all right with him. Actually, Troy is known among quail hunters from across the nation for his online involvement in web forums and discussions on quail habitat management. Troy says it's all about the habitat, and he practices his own advice on the Byron Walker grasslands. This is the world that quail live in. You've got to get down to their level in order to manage for them properly. Everything they need may be found below one foot of height. You have to provide that cover, food, and some place to reproduce. They need both grasses, forbs, and woody cover in order to make it through an entire year. Research has shown that the right habitat elements must fit together in the right pattern for best quail production. Disturbed ground ultimately favors quail, providing needed diversity in food, cover, and nesting opportunities. Best management tools include strip disking, fire, and grazing, but all three must be used properly. Grass must be thick enough to provide escape cover, but not too thick to interfere with finding food. Overgrazing results in poor, short grass that can't support quail. Fire removes ground thatch and native cover and produces the right density with little cost. Disking results in growth of forbs easy for birds to travel through while providing excellent seed and insect food sources. Uncontrolled cedars, a common grassland problem, spell trouble. Tending to favor predators, many trees in open settings can work against a quail population. Even so, a few cedar clumps with food close by can provide relief from winter storms. The best woody cover is open shrubs like sandhill plums. These offer food and escape cover for upland birds. At Byron Walker, a local Quail Unlimited chapter helps improve habitat by planting clumps of plums where needed. Using best management practices, Smith believes his public wildlife area can support about 400 to 700 Bob Whites annually. Last year, hunters shot 236 birds, a substantial increase over former years as positive changes take effect. Even so, it's an ongoing fight. There's always a balance that you're trying to reach. Just because you have habitat today doesn't mean it's going to be habitat in five years. At Byron Walker Wildlife Area, you can be sure that Bob White's will remain a top priority. Good hunting. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.